Welcome back Team Bazooka and today we're going to talk about the third part of defense in the Bazooka kickboxing series and that's going to be the shell or I call the shield type of defense and this is the type of defense you see a lot with the Dutch style and you see a lot with more European style kickboxing where they really like to come in, you keep connection with your forehead and you like to stay nice and tight defensively. It's a good type of defense if you really want to get on the inside, maybe you want to counter with low kicks or inside punching. So I need you to remember, each type of defense has different effects and you have to mix and match between them in order to be effective. You don't want to stay with one and you don't want to do too many. So depending on your opponent, you're going to have to change the type of defense. And the shell is a good way to use low kicks and inside fighting and stay defensive in that close mid-range fighting. Now we're going to demonstrate the shell, the, the solid style defense which you're going to see more in that Dutch style kickboxing. So I'm going to make sure I keep contact of my hands on my head. And where I want to keep contact on my head is where I call the horns, which is the hard part of the head. Um, that's going to be my reference points because you are taking a lot of contact off of your forearms. So putting your hands on that hard part is going to help you from your head rattling in the shell. If you're doing it wrong and you're finding you're getting headaches or your head's getting shook too much, you're not solid enough and you're not keeping your hands on the hard part where the horns come out of your head. Now the other key I'm going to give you before I demonstrate is the wrist positioning. When I have my hands here, if I keep my wrists flat, there's a very easy for my wrist to bend with the hook which can cause pressure. So from here, I'm going to slightly turn my wrist this way so it acts as like a little bit of a shock absorbent. So from here, and it tightens my forearm, tightens my um, everything defensively so I don't have to get my head rattled as much. So a uh, quick example, again we're going to use the jab cross hook. If I'm weak in my defense and it comes, you can tell it rattles my head still, it doesn't feel good. So. This, my right hand, um, this is a challenge for bigger guys who are watching. If you have that big chest bodybuilding style, it might be really hard to get your elbows in and that's a problem. So if you're skinnier, that's easy. I can come in here and get my elbows in and you're gonna see it's kind of shaped like a V. That's what we call a V guard, um, is another name for shell style defense, is the V guard. If you have trouble getting that elbow in to block the center line, I'm gonna keep my right hand tight and I'm gonna use my lead hand more uh, to come across um, and we call that a lead wedge. So um, I'm gonna take the one, two, three off of Abiel. The one, two is mostly gonna come off of my lead wedge and the three I'm gonna catch with my other side. That's for my bigger guys. If you're smaller and you're flexible and you can get your elbows in, the key would be to block without having to move. The more you move, the more your body position opens, the more openings your opponent can find. So we're gonna do it. Try to stay as stationary as possible to block all the punches. Um, but if you need to slightly move, you can. Uh, the easiest way is block the one, two off of the lead wedge, catch the three, okay? So one, two, three, staying stationary. Or if I want to move, okay, we'll change directions. Here I'm blocking the one, two off of the lead wedge, catching the third. Stationary, okay. Be able to block in every position. Why this is effective now, say he's an active puncher and I need to get on the inside to attack, that's my perfect time to walk myself in. I can continue to come forward and shut down his punches. So I like to use the shell as a way to shut down his defense and walk my way in. If I just stand here while he's hitting, yes it's effective. But if I close distance with my shell, once I have the confidence to walk forward and stay defensive, that's when you can really utilize good ring control um, and good understanding of where to put your partner, especially if you want to get them against the ropes or in the corner, the shell is the way to do it. So the shell, one of my favorite ways uh, to get on the inside, one of my favorite types of defense. You watch my fights, you can see I use that type of defense probably the most, but it's very effective in close range and mid range. If you want to use more longer range defense, that's where the other parts come into play with our footwork and our parry. But really use the shell to get on the inside and really good power punching and good low kicks on the inside from there. If you like the channel, keep liking, keep subscribing, and make sure you go to bazookasquad.com to buy all your bazooka gear.